Solar One Acid Burn here, Kami 101. Um, got something special in the mail today. Um, his name is uh, Robert Will uh, Wilson, and uh, he's from London or UK. And uh, he got me something really, really cool. I'd like to share with everyone else. Um, so I love the package because it's really pretty. It has like black, black in the in the middle, and then you got the purple on the outside. I love that color though. I'm gonna keep the bag. All right. Um, before I get into it, um, to show you what he got me, of course, you know I'm going to show you. Uh, uh, Fire Corners. Uh, here's her address, Facebook. Give him a call. Some really good stuff there for toy hunters and video gamers for old school and new school, and a lot of anime people out there. This is a place for you too. Check them out. They're really good stuff there. And oh yeah, can I show you this one too? And my buddy Jared right there. Uh, he's just, he's starting to do his reviews now. Uh, he's also a toy hunter. Does not just turtles, but everything else. And um, check out his videos. See if you like it. Just you know, subscribe to him. All right. So um, yeah. So I got some really really cool stuff. I didn't even open it up though. But we got um. They call it snap 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 bands. I don't know if you guys if you can see that. Now snap bands are like are like these things. So Don Teller right here. But in my day, back in the eighties and nineties, um, there was a different name for them. I can't remember what it was. Slap bracelets. That's what it was. I couldn't quite remember. It was like what was the original name? But um, so yeah, it's originally called slap braces. Bra slap braces. Blah blah blah. Um, as you can see, it has Don Tell on there. You can, you can either take them off or you can put them back on. Of course, the whole thing is shaped like a, a turtle shell. Uh, let's see, this one came out in 2013, right there. And then these are things that were really popular back when you go, you know, with rollerblading at the roller um, skate place and everything. They always sell these things, or you had to win the prizes. You know, the whole. Remember these things? Back in the old day. It was so awesome. And then we've got another one, uh, Michelangelo. Or Mikey. Same thing, you actually could take them off or leave them on. And of course, this one's the same thing. You know, just like that. If you do it too much, I remember um, when I used to have these back in the old days. If you do it too much, they end up like breaking and everything. So some will work or wrap around you, and the other one will just hang out. Good old times, good old times. So, yeah. And then, I was looking this up online. Um, these are released in his area first. Supposed to come into America, and I have not seen one of these at anywhere else. Uh, the Pez Ninja Turtles. If you have, people, if you've seen these and you're from America or USA, A, you know. If you're from that area um, or the state, if you've seen these already uh, in this state, uh, put in the comments down and tell me if you've already seen these. Um, because, um, like I said, I was reading up and they said these are only re released out there. Supposedly they're coming out here, but like I said, haven't seen these yet. And it comes with a little Pez candy, which they're so good. Yeah, so if, so kids, if you've never seen a Pez before, they're all over the world. They're very popular. They're different kind of heads, different colors, different shapes. And as you can see, it has the word Pez on there. And the Pez, what you do, kids, is say uh, you lift up the head all the way up. Take out the pink little candy. I think there's some blue ones in there, too. And you place it into their neck, kind of like loading up a machine gun. That's I guess you could call it like that. So you're loading up like, uh, the bullets inside of his neck or candy. And you slice, you know, take it back down. And then every time you lift the head up like this, a candy will pop out of his neck. And then grab it and chew it. That's all you had to do. Lift up his neck and then lift up the next candy. So, uh, it's actually really cool. I love Pez. I really do. Um, I love this one from Michelangelo because for once, they actually put his freckles on him. So that's pretty cool. So that's Michelangelo. Here's Donatello. The eyes are a little bit like shadow dark. But you, look at it, he has his little gap tooth right in there. And of course it has this color purple for the bottom piece. 
Um, push here to open. Let's see. And it tells you what's, you know, all this stuff about pets. Like what's made out of what or whatever. Some warning stuff. That's what, that's what we need. A warning on our food. And something that we're going to put in our mouth and swallow it. Uh, here's Raphael. Of course, it's red. He has a little pez as well. They're all the same size, so you know, so nothing really different. Like, you know, who's taller, who's the shortest. And of course, our fearless leader, Leonardo. Of course, a beautiful blue color. Yeah, so there's different kind of things that um, you could do with Pez. Um, like, like uh, what was it? My friend has a, well, my old friend, I should say, had a Marv the Martian, and it's a shape of the rocket, and Marv the Martian has, a, like, an axe going across like this, so whenever time you push a button, he'll start moving to the rocket, and the rocket will shoot out a Pez on there, and he's supposed to, like, go back, and, like, he's handing you the Pez, but it never works for me because every time I push the button, he hits the the pass and shoots it right at me. You know that's one of my fun memories right there. But um yeah, so like I said, there's different kind of faces. I mean different characters, different anything really of Paz's face. Um like I said, these are the new version of the 2012 or 14 um, Ninja Turtles. They have them for the old school also. I don't. I never got the old school um, 80s and 90s Pez. Never actually saw one or came across one, which is really weird because I know everyone else has. I did, however, have the the 2K uh, the 2K3 um, Pez, and it's still in their package, which was weird because it was all bundled up on top of each other at Walmart. And I I seriously took a dive right in to get them, so I got all four of them, and now I got this. From UK, which is really cool. I love. I like the faces better on these ones. Looks really cool, and actually does look exactly like the cartoon. Um, I don't know if I want to open this because it is from uh, UK. But um, if if I see one here in America, then I probably will open it and eat it and sit up in the back right next to each other. But as far as anything else, I'm gonna leave it inside the package. So. Like I said, if it's from any other country, I will leave it in a package for my collection. I'm just weird like that. And then, uh, see, so he sent me a little note. Uh, Hi, John. Hope you like this stuff with a smiley face. Please review your <laughs> your UK friend, Rob and Laura. How cute. So, yes, Rob and Laura, both of you, like, you know, thank you so very much for this gift um, it is it is really cool of you for you actually doing this you know just just doing something nice is really cool like I said to him before it feels great to know there's really nice people out there all over the world that would actually do something like this for anyone especially for me and then it's really nice so, in case you can, when I see it yeah so like I said Rob and Laura thank you so much and of course, last but not least, uh, oh wait, hang on, I'm gonna show you this one first. I finally got a keychain! Woo! Uh, this is a real Lego, a Raphael one. Uh, so, yeah. I cherish it. I put it on my, on my wallet right away. So now I actually have one. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm slowly getting into Lego um, toys because of the turtles. So I'm learning about Legos. So don't worry, I'll be good at it, professional on it. Okay, now last but not least, one. I have seen these all over the all over internet. As you can see, martial arts uh, training manual. Now this is really cool. I like I said, I seen them online, and I remember seeing. Well, actually. I've seen these in the past before because um, I have friends who used to have these because their dad or their br older brother were into like martial arts and everything. And it teaches you how to use a weapon, how to protect yourself from danger. 
And so, I'm pretty sure you've seen those booklets, you know, like, here's a guy getting hugged by another guy, or, like, you know, struggling another dude. What do you do in this situation? You hit, one, two, up, you know, stuff like that. But with this one, instead of having, like, a regular human being, they use turtles instead, which is really cool. I'm guessing that's the guy who's, uh, who made this. So this is pretty sweet, actually. And there's a picture of the turtles. This is very old, people. Very, very, very old. Okay, now we'll take it out of the bag. Wonder how you know it? if something's really old? It's when the booklet had that old school smell. No, I'm sorry, the new cart comic books are good, but it doesn't have that old school paper smell. I know it's weird. You're not supposed to like weird smells, but I love old smell of comic books. It's so great, especially when it's like kind of like different paper fabric, kind of like has a yellow look to it. So, um, so I'm going to show you up and close what this one looks like. You guys are going to get a kick out of this book, uh, out of this. Um, I guess you call it a uh, training booklet or maybe a slash comic book kind of like. So, uh, let's do it up and close so you can see what it looks like. Alright, I'm trying to make this camera, you know, perfect. I'm trying to set it up. Alright, so like I said, this is the comic book on how it looks. Martial arts training manual. Yes, people, this is real. This isn't like no bootleg or anything like that. This is a real deal. Uh, if anyone out there that could actually read this, I would like to know what it sa what it says right here. Feel free to pause it because I'm going too fast. Alright, so we open up the first place. I'm trying to be gentle. Alright, so we start off with a female bodybuilder. And it talks about like news, neat stuff from this comic place. Dare to be daring, which is really cool. Women of Iron, pretty cool, pretty cool. They want to hear from you. Yeah, I wonder if that actually that's the address still exists. So there's a yeah, there's a 1987 when this is made, copyright, as you can see. And then you got the turtles right here. Very awesome artwork. You got Leo, Splinter, Michelangelo, Raphael, of course Donato. And here's the people who um, actually um, made all this, put it together. And of course, right here, just show you old school Splinter talking about the weapons and everything. So yeah, so Psy versus Bo. That's a pretty cool tattoo actually. So when it goes against the op uh, opponent, armed with a bow, you know, just so it actually tells you what to do. How to stand, hold your weapon. Has a number to actually show you which one to go with. Of course number two, number three, number four. How to block it and smack him right in the head with a sigh. And it's been good for me because I actually do a lot of couple of sighs, I guess you call it. I like to, you know, take action on it. And then, of course, the commercial on sale now of Girls on Fire and I don't know what the rest. Super Foxes. Wow. Try it just for fun of it. Yeah. It's a lonely man joining women. So now we have Bo versus Sai. How beautiful this golden page and everything. So yeah, it actually teaches you exactly everything. And then you had to read it to actually know what, what to expect, what to do next. I mean, this is unbelievable, great stuff. Whoa. 
There is a character to love. Buckethead comic. Cool. I'll be doing all day. Isn't that little rascal? <laughs> How cool. Alright, so here's more. Oh man, that'd be a really cool tattoo right there. So, let's see. Read it right there. And then you got the artwork and what to do, what to expect. And then. So now it goes Psy versus Bow. I mean, this just goes on and on. I mean, this is some really good stuff. Unarmed against a bow staff, so you have no weapon, and if somebody coming at you with a stick, this is what you're expected to do. Didn't they do this in the cartoon? I should have dropped a staff. <laughs> and a really cool artwork right here. There's a guy who made it. God, I miss the old school look of Ninja Turtles. And the kids, if you're starting to get you new to Turtles, that's not what you think it is. That's his tail. Which is the reason why they took him off in the first place. And of course, Iron Maidens. You know, the female bodybuilders. They don't look like this. Okay. So, what is this? Finding Bone, Description. I guess you could order a female bodybuilder. Well, back in the old days. Alright. Uh, of course, bull defense against strange punch, uh, straight punches. Very good stuff. Very, very, very good. Champion is the ultimate assassin. Cool name, Ninja. So cool. Have you or ever thought about like seeing these old comic books with the original address and you want to see if, if you um, actually send something over there? Has anyone actually done that? You know, actually send money in, on an old pre address and got something returned? Like, uh, this company does not exist or, or anything like that? If you do, put some comments down. I want to hear it. If so, I want to know if anything actually does, did happen. And then... Dojo Leg Whap. Basic Body Drop. Hey, I could try that. Oh, man. I want to try this on someone. Alright. Be cool. Inside a Leg Sweep. <laughs> so oh, Mr. Don and Tello. The bear hug one. When I was a kid, I was in karate class and then a uh, teacher actually did this to me. He said, Alright, John, let's see you trying to get out of this one. Well, I asked him if he had a cup on. He says, no. Well, too bad, because I ended up kicking him down there and, oh, well, I got out. So, that's what he wanted me to do, to trying to get out of that bear hug thing. I don't know if he's going to have kids after that, but teach karate. So, yeah, there's more than one booklet on this, so just in case you're curious and a collector wants to find more of these things. Comic books. Ooh yeah, Three Stooges. I love, I love the Three Stooges. Everyone's favorite master of mayhem. How cool is this? Muscle and fitness man. I didn't know they've been out that long. 
Like a, yeah, so if you ever have one of these things and actually order something from the, the company, did anything return back or did they leave a mess or a mail back saying like, hey, this place doesn't exist or so on and so on? Look at it. Old school wrestling stuff. People, this is real wrestling good stuff right here. The old school, man. I mean, the new stuff, it's not the same. It's, you know, they don't dress up, get all crazy and wacky and everything. You know, I miss that. I miss the whole costume look and acting like that. That's good stuff right there. But, uh, yeah. So people, tell me what you guys think about this gift. I mean, this is the coolest gift ever. Seriously. Um, I, like I said, um, if you know my stuff, my style, I do take good care of everything. So you have nothing to worry about. Nothing's going to get torn or whatever. I do take very, very good care. So viewers, um, push like if you like this um, uh, review. Uh, push like if you like what I have right here because I'm pretty sure a lot of you want to go online and look for this kind of stuff for yourself as well. Especially something like this. This is really cool. And like I said, if you have seen this in America, uh, put, this, put it in the comments. Prove it to me you saw it. But as far as right now, I'm going to leave them inside their case for a while. But um, yeah, UK style. Awesome. 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 So uh, like I said, Rob and Laura, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the sweetest, kindest thing ever anyone could ever do to someone else as a fan. Alright, so like I said, um, this is really, really sweet. Um, I I'm, I'm, I'm seriously want to try this. I really want to try this, you know. You know, a guy next door that has weapons, maybe he'll like to try this with me, you know. Practice, exercise, gives you a good workout. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have a, I have some, I have like probably like three different um different size, because I'm a big fan of size weapon and any actually any weapon really, but size is my number one. So maybe I should try it out. See my see what he says next door. But the Pez thing, uh, the keychain, bracelet, ah, Wonder Woman turtle sock. <clears throat> Sorry. So, <laughs> yeah, this is really sweet. I, I can't stop saying thank you, and I'm going to say it again. Thank you so much, both of you. Very, very sweet indeed. Um, according to Rob, uh, he said there's one more package coming in. Uh, whatever it is, it will be reviewed. Whoa! So, look at his smiley face. Yay! Whoever wrote this has some really good handwriting. So jealous. I'm gonna write like this. Oh man, this is this is really sweet. So yeah, people. Episode um, four ninety nine. So the next episode five hundred people. So it's gonna take a while. I want to get everything together. Videos. And then I'm going to do that whole ask me a question kind of thing, and I will answer it to you on video. Uh, if you have anything to ask me, I'll, I'll do it right now, and I will add it to the video. Um, what else? And, of course, review of a toy. I'm trying to think what I want to do. I want to do something special. I want to review something rare or vintage or something like that, which I did find something that is a vintage. So maybe I'm going to do the review on that, unless something comes up, something that is more rare than that, then I'll review that as well. So bear with me, people. It's going to take a while for the 500 review to come up. Um, so got to do a lot of editing and uh, trying to figure out what to do for a toy review. As far as right now, i like to just do to say it again. Rob and Laura, thank you so much. You, you you both are very kind, sweet, loving people. Thank you. And um, hopefully this review is actually pretty good for you too. And everyone else is watching. Um, I don't know what else to say besides that. So yeah, people push like. I mean, this this is really good stuff right here. Um, if you want to share with your friends, I mean, that's up to you guys, too. 
Um, I definitely want to show this re review once it's done and edited and everything to um, Robin. He can show it to his girlfriend, Laura. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, I would say get these, get this comic book, um, manual, whatever you want to call it, to your collection. Seriously, I mean, it's not Playmates, but it is a Ninja Turtle toy, and it's my favorite stuff. I love it a lot. So until then, people, take care of yourself, and happy hunting. Wow! Yay! eBay time! And this is a bunch of sh- oh. One person is viewing this item per hour. Kiss my butt. Alright. Free shipping for the movie star Leonardo. We all know this thing is, that isn't still in this package. $8.88. Yes. That's how much it costs in stores. Over here, that is. Nothing new, nothing fancy about this one. But this guy wants, or girl, wants it for $16. Open. And I've seen this person before, and I just kind of gave up on him. Now, first things first, um, if you're going to start selling your turtle toys, brand new, from a brand new store and all that stuff, you might want to leave it inside the package. Not open it up like an idiot that you are. Just leave it in the package and maybe sell it. Not open up and look at it like, hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's make this 40, 40 bucks. Yay, I'm so smart. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This person should be smack. This is this is dumb. This is really, really dumb. You open it up and you want to sell it? Really? Like I said, this person did with all his turtle toys and opened them up. And he wanted to sell them, just like that. Put your comments down.